Next up is a way for people with common interests to find each other. Hi Sharks, I'm Nathan. And I'm Sterling. And I'm Lee from New Orleans, Louisiana. We're seeking $300,000 for 20% equity in our company, Tabby. Sharks, you may not believe it, but these handsome men have been ripped to shreds on general dating apps, all because of something they love. Pussy. Pussy. Cats. Cats. <laughs> Here are real messages these successful, passionate guys have gotten on general dating apps. My friend says you have four cats. That's four red flags. Ugh, do you sleep with that thing? Would you be willing to give up your cats for me? <laughs> Studies show that men who have cats in their profile photos perform worse and get fewer matches on general dating apps. No. That's why we created Tabby, the cat person's dating app. All right, boys, go be yourselves. Tabby is a safe space. Tabby is a familiar dating app. You swipe left or you swipe right on people, but it also has a specific area asking you about your cats. Like how much do you spend on your cat a month or does he or she sleep in the bed with you every night? Of course she does, all my cats do. <laughs> Tabby also provides a community space for everyone on the app, the cat tree, where you can share your favorite cat-friendly cafe or suggest date ideas. <laughs> like volunteering at Sterling's nonprofit or curling up with me and my four kitties and a nice bottle of wine. So sharks, say goodbye to these local adoptable kittens for now. The Aww. boys will be right back. Aww. And join us as we help people determine who they want to spend the rest of their nine lives with <laughs> based on their Aww. love for cats with Tabby. Lee, it seems crazy to me. How did you come up with this idea? Well, actually, I started a different dating app a few years ago. I first started Dig, the dog person's dating app. After growing that with my sister for a few years, we are now in acquisition conversations with a dog food company. Wow. Over wow. those few years, we heard from a lot of cat people. One of the things we learned was that there aren't places like dog parks for cat people to go out and meet each other. <laughs> and That's there's true. this stigma around cat people. That's terrible. Are the rest of you guys doing Dig also? Uh, no, we're strictly here on Tabby. Uh, both of us actually work as social media influencers. I work as Nathan the Cat Lady, as you can see by the cutout behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I met Sterling at one of the cat conventions, and we kind of hit it off. I go by Sterling Trap King Davis. Trap King named after my cat rescue nonprofit. I am one of one. Cat rescue is usually something done by middle-aged white women. I am the only black man that you will see that sold everything and lives out of his vehicle and rescue cats. Good, Good for, you. for you. How many cat owners are there in the first place? Great question. 17 million single cat owners in the U.S. A lot of people don't know how many cat people are actually out there because most of us are ashamed to come out with it. I am a cat lover. I do not understand why there is cat shame at all. Why is there cat shame? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Because it's not cool, Lori. Oh, that's so not, not gonna walk right. Your cat Cats down the are street. so cool. Okay. There Can is you give no me some animal statistics? cooler than when a lion. When did you get started? How many people are using the app? What have you learned so far? So last summer, we had the opportunity to launch Tabby because we won the million dollar dating project. What is that? It is a grant from a dating platform company and they gave us $50,000 in equity free grant money to be able to market the platform. And we could use their platform, put our branding on it, then market from there. We launched on International Cat Day on this pre-made platform. Of course you did. <laughs> when we launched, uh, there were a massive amount of problems on the platform. Oh, good. Good. I yes. hate when that happens. <laughs> yes. When we first launched, that platform had all of the development made. We brought our branding. They built something that was built to the web and wasn't exactly made for mobile. And it's, uh, it, you know, we, we went into okay, it. Okay, you gave us the excuses. Now get to the numbers. Okay, sure. We had 31,000 users on the app. We made $43,000 in revenue. 17,000 of that was from subscriptions and 25,000 of that was from our first integration partner. And then since then, we've not been marketing as we've been building out the next version of Tabby. And are you still on their platform? What I wanted to do was come to you guys today and tell you we want to switch to a new platform. That urgency increased 
entirely in the past few days when they terminated our contract early. Oh, good. Ooh. It is hitting the fan. It just gets better. Wow. Since then, because of all the issues especially, we went out and we sourced the best team. We built an entirely new app with our new development okay, team. Okay, well, that's great. So, But when are you ready to release? It's already under review by Apple right now. So it Got should it. be so you're ready whenever to pop they're out. done in the next two weeks. Is it a monthly subscription? Yes, it's $19.99 a month. And oh, it goes that's down a nice $19.99. Well, is yes. that expensive or not? In the dating industry right now, that's not no, but, extraordinarily expensive. But for a startup, average it's expensive. For regular um, premium subscriptions. How much money have you raised to this point? For Tabby, we've raised no money other than the equity grant. See, to me, that's the problem, right? Because you had to funnel everything and do everything on this other platform for $50,000. That's impossible. And now here you are scrambling. As Nirav will tell you, and all of us will tell you, growing an app is difficult, competitive, and really expensive unless you just find a unique niche, you know, and maybe you guys can make it take off virally, but it's really, really hard. And so for those reasons, I'm out. Look, I wish you all the best. Thank Anytime you. you can connect people and animals and create more love in the world, it's, Good. it's a wonderful thing, but it's not for me. I'm out. What we have right now is the car, the keys, the map, the drivers. We need the rocket fuel to no be able gas. to take off, right? You got no gas, you got no money for gas. We would love some money for gas. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we all have... love the passion, but I will tell you from starting next door and growing it to over 50 million registered users, it's very, very difficult to get distribution. You need to find a way to break through the noise of all those existing dating apps and make a name for yourself. But I think you probably have a long way to go to really build a breakthrough tech app. And for those reasons, I'm out. Let, let me take a stab at it this way. I invested in a deal called Base Pause at a two million valuation. We're raising 10 million at a 40 million valuation now. And she has built a huge database of cat owners. We may have the largest cat database in America, and I have become a cat lover because it has cash flow. I love cash flow. Cat flow. Cat flow. So here's an offer for you, and this is the way I'm thinking of structure. Wow, did not see this coming. I'm gonna offer you $300,000 for 30%, okay? It may be better if you had maybe America's biggest cat database on your side. That's my offer. What does That's that a good mean? offer, guys. Uh, You're starting from scratch here. That's a great offer. That is a great offer. Would you consider doing 25% and meeting us in the middle? No, is my answer. The problem for me is I'm not really a tech app, app expert. You know, that's not really my background or my thing. I don't have as much to offer. I hate saying this because Kevin does have that company, Base Paws, where I think could be helpful to you. And so, because I want to do the best for cats that I possibly can, <laughs> I will step aside for the cat hater, but who can be the cat helper. What a lot of you. noise. <laughs> I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Kevin's giving you cash plus distribution because a partnership with his company will give you traffic. And that's the only thing you need when you start this company. You have everything else. Kevin, it sounds like a perfect deal. And we'd love to take it and work uh, with you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Yay! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so Let's much. Let's have some fun with this. Thank you. It's great. Nice meeting you guys, too. A lot of social work to do here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking longer. about, baby! Let's go! Let's this go! Is beautiful. Kevin, I think you're really gonna help her. What I see is you promoting the app with a picture of you with a hairless cat. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to understand something. I am building a cat empire. Yes. <laughs> I'm the king of the litter. <laughs> king of the litter!